Welcome back to review one box and this is the all new Kia Tasman pickup truck. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to enable notification alert for the upcoming videos. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram by using our official handle at review one box. Links are also provided in the description below. The new Kia Tasman is a bold and rugged off-road truck with somewhat polarizing looks. It is based on a new frame platform with independent front suspension on double wishbones and a solid rear axle on leaf springs. Amplitude-dependent shock absorbers with hydraulic bump stops are provided for a comfortable ride in any conditions. The overall wheelbase of the Kia Tasman is 3,270 mm, which is exactly the same as the Ford Ranger, ground clearance is 252 mm, max load capacity is 1,195 kg and max towing capacity is 3,500 kg. Standard wheels vary from 17 to 18 inches. There are versions with single row and double row cabins, with three basic equipment lines at the start of sales, base, X-Line and X-Pro. The Kia Tasman will be offered with two engines depending upon the region, a 2.5-liter turbocharged petrol engine, with 281 horsepower and 421 newton meters of torque, or a 2.2 liter turbodiesel producing 210 horsepower and 441 newton meters of torque. In Australia, there will only be a diesel Tasman, while in the US, there will only be a petrol. The standard transmission is an 8 speed automatic, only the diesel version is offered with a 6 speed manual. The Kia Tasman pickup truck has a rear or all wheel drive with an electronically controlled locking rear differential, with sand, mud, snow and rock on the X-Pro version. Moving inside, a slightly squared multifunctional steering wheel and a laconic front panel with a three-screen display is featured. Between the 12.3-inch instrument and multimedia screens, there is a vertical 5-inch screen responsible for the microclimate settings, while under the multimedia screen there are physical rocking keys. Of course, the Kia Tasman will offer a wide range of various electronic driver assistance and additional accessories. In South Korea, the Tasman will go on sale in the first half of 2025, after which it will set off to Australia, the Middle East, Africa and other developing markets. Until then stay tuned to our channel for more information regarding vehicles. As always thanks for watching, like, comment and share with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.